So what we're going to do, if you can keep this in mind when you use uh, chalk pastels because they smudge so much, is we're going to start from our left hand side of the page and work to the right. And that way um, our hands won't smudge so much, okay? And so the first thing we're going to do is the sky. And if you have white, I would go ahead and cover the top part. And this is going to be the top half of the page. Go ahead and just cover it in white, just like that. Okay. There you go. Yay. All right. Have you ever heard the um, expression, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west? Okay. The west would be what side of the page? The right side of the page. So we're going to do a setting sun over here. And so we're going to create just a little bit of color by putting the sun. And this is actually going down. And it's, I did, the first thing that I did was a circle in yellow. And I um, colored that completely in. And then I just kind of uneven lines out from the circle, okay? And we're going to be a, doing a lot of blending on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. And now, what does the sky have? Clouds. clouds. We just put the white in. So that would be the clouds, right? Mm -hmm. So now you're going to do this in reverse. We're going to imagine the clouds in shapes. And so in different places, we're going to take a blue and just kind of go around an imaginary cloud like that. See? and just in different places, and it doesn't matter where. So, and I use the side of my pastel real lightly, real lightly, oh. and use the side to get the wide part of your pastel to lay in that color, okay? When you look out over the horizon, when the sun is going down for one reason or the other, I guess that there's a warm glow that it casts on the earth below it. So one of the colors that I imagine is red. So I'm going to go back with red right about a little less than halfway uh, up from the bottom. It's just a light red streak. And the colors of the rainbow, what would come next, like orange? So I'm going to go back with orange. We're just drawing lines like this, okay? Then I'm going to go in with yellow back on top of the orange line. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm going to add just a touch of pink in the red just because I think that that gives it a little warmer glow, okay? Now what we're going to do with our blending stick so far is all the colors that we've laid down on this page, we're going to blend. And you just rub it out. That's how you blend. Okay. Whoa, whoa, I need to buy one of these. We're going to blend these colors together. And if you see that it's getting too dark, your colors, like some of these are in, on mine, what I'm going to do is take my white after I get this all and change sides because you want the white to stay white in the sky. So you don't want to blend two colors on top of each other unless you really want them to blend. But like the whites, you want white in the sky. Then you want the blue behind the white clouds. Okay, 
And again, if it gets too dark, the great thing about pastels is you can go right back over it in white and lighten it up. And I'm going to blow this off. Whoops. All right. Some of my colors got a little too dark. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Let's take my white and go right back over them. Then I'm going to blend them out. No worries. You got yours done, Connor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, after we have our sky set in, we want to work with the darker colors and we're going to start with gray and work it down to black. So my first color at the edge, edge of my world is going to be gray and I'm just going to go all the way across just like this with the gray. Just keep working the gray in. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to go from gray to black. And this is another, what did you say this was, Con I mean, Nathan? When you cover a full composition. There you go. All right, when I have my black and gray in, I'm going to take my blending stick and I'm going to blend those colors. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. All right, after you get it blended, then you can blow the extra off. Working with pastels is really messy, but it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And fun. And fun. So I'm going to take my black a little bit, the darkness a little bit closer up to the edge, and then I'm going to make toward the bottom of my page really, really dark. Going back over it with black, and then again blending. Start yeah, it does. All right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to use my arm after this. Are you getting in a good exercise? Look at mine. I was just going to <laughs> All right, then I'm going to go back into my sky, and with my yellow, I'm going to just make little dots and lines. I'm going to blend those as well. Those are going to be like little just shooting stars. Got black in there. You can blend it out. Mm -hmm. 
Northern Lights, but just yellow. <laughs> All right. All right, once you're satisfied with this part. Okay. Now we're going to put in the person. Okay, and what you're going to do is the very edge of the, um, actually we could do this with pencil. That would probably be better. What we're going to do is use the pencil, but you cannot put your hand down on your paper or either. I'll tell you what, I'm going to lay this right here because I'm going to draw my little girl right here. I'm going to draw, remember what we did on the last lesson? You kind of sketch in a round head. We'll add dimension to it in a little bit. Her neck. She's going to be shooting an arrow at the star. Okay. Her arm. Her back. When you're doing a body, you can keep this in mind. The legs to the top of the legs is about a third of your body. And then uh, you go up another to the, um, just underneath your shoulders is another third. And from your shoulders to the top of your head is a little less, but it, right at a third. But if you keep it at thirds, it'll look like your body is dimensional okay. and should be. Yeah, I'm going to, can't really see her legs, but. Um, so if I did directional lines, I would make a line where I wanted her feet to go, a line a little ways up for her waist, another line up for her shoulders, and then the head. And then I would make the head right here, her waist would be here, and the feet would be here. And I'm going to show you that better with her um, shooting the arrow. Then we have her shoulder, her arm, the arrow, or the bow, and... She's holding it with this hand. Now, I'm going to break this down for you so it won't be quite as complicated, okay? So let me get her on here. There we go. Okay, so this is what we did. I'm going to use this to show you what I did, okay? The first thing that I did was I drew a line right here. You can see this now with that. Then a line here. See that? Boom, boom, and a line here. That's her body. Okay. This is her legs, that's her body. And torso. this is her head. Yeah, her torso, thank you. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in her head, and I gave her a ponytail. You can make your girl, or a guy, whatever you wanted to do okay so I'm gonna there's her face her neck okay and then this goes down to here this is her body or her torso thank you and then her legs this is all in the night which is great you're just drawing an illusion of where she would be standing because again her body is dark okay so there we go up her arm oh. holding the bow I'm I'm we're gonna all make this make sense in a little bit we're gonna draw a big bow And then this arm goes over here. Now we're going to fill this in. Uh, I, just, I don't understand. 
here. Okay. Okay. After you draw her on there, you draw her arm. I'm going to color that in. She's holding this over here. Okay. The bow. I made a big bow. All right. This arm is her shoulder here. She's holding the arrow that goes out here. Just think of angles. And just remember this is a dark nighttime scene. So we can go back, take some of them. And she's shooting an arrow. Yeah, it's a little bit more challenging. Where's my girl? There. There we go. Good job, Yvonne. It looks good. Nice. I'm gonna make her feet together because I'm not done. So I'm just gonna make her look her feet together. Made her kind of big. Yeah. No, I mean like mean. Good job, Marie. That's awesome. But now we have it. That's good, Connor. I don't know how to do I'm gonna blend yeah, mine, her mine just a little bit. I don't know what mine is. go. And the thing about um, pastels is they'll continue to smear, so you have to seal your paper. Um, and it's, it comes in an aerosol can. I have told people before, and I have used this, is Aquanet hairspray is a great thing to seal this with. And you just spray it over with, and it seals. But this is our nighttime little girl. I'm going to add some more things at her feet, just to uh, ground her because she mine looked like she was floating. I'm going to give her a little bit more darkness here What's underneath that? her figure. Yeah. I up okay. I up Great job, is like, Yvonne. Is it like her shadow? Yeah, you can do her shadow. Or just something to ground her because if you if you don't put any shading underneath her, she looks like she's kind of floating in the air. So if you give her shading underneath, then it looks like, ah, oh, she's actually standing on the ground. She's not floating. I think it's great. I love the colors in your sky with that pink. That's awesome. I think we're finished. What do you think? Yes. Everybody gets to sign your piece of art and then we're done. Yeah.